Hunter is an absolute sweetheart. He does everything he's told, he's lovely, so friendly, so sweet, and Luca is the demon spawn of Satan. Luca! He's absolutely lovely to be around if it's just me, Ian, the two dogs. As soon as you throw any other dog into the mix, he becomes awful. Sorry. Luca can be a little bit reactive when he's on the lead, so barking, lunging, why do you think Luca's lunging on the lead? I think it's because he doesn't get let off as much as other dogs. He sees them running around the way we can't let him off. He wants to go and play. I see. So you think it's more frustration? Yeah. Next up, it's time to take both Dalmatians to the park so Victoria can observe Luca's behaviour on the lead. No, no, don't worry, don't worry, it's all right. I notice that his breathing gets very shallow, that his lips puff out. He kind of breathes like a <sighs> And when he sees the dog, he lifts his front paw and he's trying to move forward. And that, that just gives me a lot of information okay. about what's going on in his head. OK, let's go. OK. First of all, Luca's lunging on the lead towards other dogs. I see an unconfident dog on the lead. And I think that because he can't get to other dogs, that it's making him very frustrated. And that's why he kicks off. I do want to work on his greeting behavior because even though I think he gets frustrated and he's unconfident, we know that when he's off the lead, he's fine with other dogs. So I think it's just important that he knows it's fine when he's on the lead too. Luca's behavior on the lead's very reactive and unsafe. You've told me he's all right with dogs off the lead, but on the lead he's a different dog. So I want to work with his greeting behavior. I brought you to a secure field, and inside is my friend, trainer, Kiri. She has her dog, Teddy, here. Teddy is a very calm dog. What's gonna happen is that we're gonna walk in and he's gonna see the dog, and my job is to keep him under threshold. Come on, you. As I come in, you can see I'm already working him. I'm getting him seeking his nose on the ground. Tap him. Yep. That's his cue to say, hey, I'm still here. He hasn't clocked the other dog yet. He just clocked him. So that's when I say, hey. Gave him a little tap, and I'm just going to move a little closer. Now that Luca is calm with Teddy around, Victoria slowly brings them closer. And I'm using this fence here as a barrier, just for a little bit of safety. The idea is for the two dogs to circle the fence and eventually greet each other. Getting closer and closer now. When you uh, bring the dogs in and then you move away, it brings them relief. It takes the pressure off, you know? We're just keeping them here for a little bit because I didn't make Luca lie down. He lay down himself. This is all helping his greeting behavior. But I think this is enough for today. I think he's done really well. Amazing. Never expected to see results that quick. Hopefully we'll be able to take him out in future and not be so stressed. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.